actually, I guess since I'm, I'm, this is a good a spot as any. So today marks four years since uh, the tragedy at Sandy Hook. Um, I remember exactly where I was when I found out um, what happened. I got an alert. I was still teaching at the time. I was a teacher, and I got an alert, and I, my class had just come back in. We were just getting ready to go home for holiday break, Christmas break, whatever you want to call it, um, and got the notification that this tragedy had happened. The scope and the scale and the magnitude of it is um, was something that you would think would change America. 20 children, six teachers killed Newton, Newtown, Connecticut. Um, you would think it was something significant enough to actually change America, but then immediately we fell into the same, into the same traps, into the tra- same conversations, the same uh, political posturing. Um, and it was at that point that it became painfully clear that no matter what happens in America, we're not going to be willing to have any conversations, not make, not make substantive changes. We won't have substantive conversations about the damage that guns violence does in America every single day. That's, that's when I realized when I saw how we turned a blind eye to Sandy hook and did nothing. I mean, nothing changed. Not even the tone of our conversations changed. I mean, when you saw people willing, uh, I think it was Joe, the plumber who who, was irrelevant in, in world history, American history and irrelevant for the history of today. But at the time he had a platform And at the time, he's made the statement that um, essentially saying that dead children should not infringe on my Second Amendment rights. You know, to see people willing to go as far as minimizing this tragedy and keeping everything the same. That's when I realized um, or maybe it was just confirmation again that that America is no matter what happens. The most powerful lobby in the United States of America is the NRA. The most the, 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 the thing that would never change is the ease with which people who are deranged um, and people who are just sick and people who want to hurt people. You could use whatever word you want to describe. At the end of the day, these people want to inflict as much pain as they possibly can. And we will never change. I don't see it. I don't see us ever changing the ease with which people like that can get weapons that can do this amount of damage and this amount of carnage and, and, and end these many, this many lives. So God bless America, right? I think uh, Jeremiah Wright had something to say about that. Uh, you can watch that clip.